So I know what you guys are wondering. Does the Smooth Twist X barrel outperform the Smooth Twist barrel? I won't make you guys wait for the official review of this gun for that. Um, I'll show you right now. The answer is yes. Uh, even at 50 yards, it definitively beat it. So uh, if you were purchasing this gun, my recommendation would be uh, just spend the extra money and go straight to the Smooth Twist X barrel. All right, walk with me to 50 yards. actually run. I hate walking. I have no patience for walking. All right, both these groups are eight shots. This group right here, this stuff is just me zeroing. Here are the two groups right here. Eight shots smooth twist, eight shots smooth twist X. I'm gonna leave the X barrel on and let's go over to 100 yards. You might be able to see from the trees and it is a little bit breezy today, but I'm just curious, aren't you? <laughs> and no, I don't have the earphones on because the gun is loud. It's very, very quiet, as a matter of fact. I have them on because I'm jamming, jamming out. <laughs> By the way, I've been meaning to show you guys this. There's a little bit of confusion regarding what Smooth Twist versus Smooth Twist X in the liners means for you. Basically what you have this is you have old smooth twist, the way that they cut the edge off the uh, edge of the barrel there to thin it out and then push it in, the rifling. Well, they do the same thing with the liners. For example, this, and I hope you can see it, this is a smooth twist barrel using the X liner. So this is a new liner, but it's the old way of creating the rifling. They just push it in versus this where you can see that the rifling goes all the way down the barrel. So why are there different kinds? Why is there a price difference? Well, in short, the Smooth Twist X barrel with the rifling all the way down takes more time to make. So it costs more to make it. They can make uh, several of these at the speed it takes to make one of these. But that said, they both fit in the gun the same. And uh, if you have a smooth twist barrel or a smooth twist X barrel and you wanted to buy a different one for your gun, you can do that. Just wanted to clarify that because I noticed that there was some confusion online. All right, we're here at 100 yards. And again, I'm going to run downrange, but this time, not because I'm impatient, this time because the deer flies will kill me if I don't move quickly. <laughs> Ugh. They're horrible. I hate them. <sighs> okay. Uh, one magazine, eight shots at a hundred yards, and I'm not. I'm not going to. Uh, um, to find a new zero, I'm going to use my hold, and judge the wind as best I can out there, and see if I can get these as close to the bull as possible. And the pellets are right out of 10. I never do any sorting anymore. I don't think it's worth it. A lot of people still do. I have done so much testing on sorting. And, and let me backtrack a little bit there. For Lothar Walter or traditional rifled barrels, yeah, it does make a difference. It's worth it. Finding an exact diameter or something, yeah, that's that really is significant to, to getting good results. Smooth twist. The barrel itself kind of reshapes the pellet as it goes down the barrel, so I haven't seen any fussiness from uh, one to the next. Um, no reason for sorting. If you're shooting smooth twist, uh, I would save your time and just shoot them out of tin. Oh, yeah, definite push now. So we got a slight POI change. I think that's it. Okay, come with me and have a look at that target. And you can probably hear and see the wind blowing out there. My first shot was right there. The wind came up and then the other seven fell in an inch and a quarter, somewhere around there. It's pretty cool that such a small platform like this is absolutely capable 
of one inch groups at 100 yards. So, hope you found this kind of little teaser useful. I know a lot of you guys have been wanting me to get some info out here, so here it is. Um, I have yet to test the King Heavies as well as the King Heavy Mark IIs. I imagine that the 25 Kings are gonna be the best in the gun, but don't know till you check. And I'll get back to you guys with a more thorough review um, in the near future. Not too far away. I promise, but I've broken so many promises that <laughs> it's not worth promising you anything anymore. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.